tanning beds and miners. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Pennsylvania State Representative Rosemary Swanger. Thanks for being with us. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. You've recently introduced legislation related to indoor tanning beds, but let's talk a little bit about your concerns associated with indoor tanning beds and, and their effects on miners and others. Okay. Well, to put it bluntly, they're killing people. People don't realize how dangerous they are. They emit UVA rays, which do cause deadly melanoma. Melanoma is a form of skin cancer, and you certainly can die from melanoma. And record numbers of young women and, and young men, but more young women, are dying in their 20s and 30s because uh, they contracted melanoma from tanning bed use. It is now a proven fact. They are radiation coffins. They really are. You actually have uh, the legislation. It's House Bill 977, and it would do a few different things. The first thing it would require is that these establishments, these indoor tanning businesses, would be required to register with the Pennsylvania Department of Health and become licensed. Why do you feel That's registration true. and licensing, licensing is important? Well, registration is important so that we know where tanning beds are located, and uh, requiring licensing would make them accountable. I know that people have tanning beds in their homes, and we're not, we're not concerned about those. I mean, we're concerned about them, let's put it that way, but we're not saying that they have to be licensed and inspected. But any commercial tanning bed has to be licensed, and uh, in, the, in the near future, should my bill pass, and I hope it does, because it really is, in a lot of cases, a matter of life and death, um, then uh, you know, they'd have to be accountable, and if uh, they violate the law, then there would be fines and penalties associated with that. In addition to the idea of registration and inspection, you also want these tanning facilities to post warning signs. What would these signs include? Well, the signs would, of course, warn that, uh, that if use of this tanning uh, salon or these tanning beds could be hazardous to your health. And uh, I hope the signs will also say that you could be at risk for contracting melanoma, the deadly form of skin cancer. And it would also require that um, the operators or the employees of the tanning beds uh, would know different skin types and be able to advise people on how long they should be tanning. Uh, there should be a limit if you're very, very fair. Of course, you don't go in these, these tanning beds as long as if you have darker skin. In addition to that, this legislation would prevent minors from using these tanning beds yes. at all for yes. those under 18? Yes, it would. Yes, yes. Very dangerous. Uh, I just met a woman from Erie, the Erie um, area, and her daughter, Jen, died when she was 27 years old. She started tanning um, on a regular basis when she was about 16. Uh, her mother bought her a tanning package because she had no idea that it was so dangerous. And this mother lives with guilt to this day. Every time she talks about her daughter, uh, she, she, you know, she goes into tears because she feels such guilt at not having known. And uh, she said, you know, she thought, well, you get skin cancer, you go to a dermatologist, you have it cut out, and, and that's fine. That's the end of it. She had no idea that melanoma causes tumors throughout your body and kills you. And we just have a, a short mm -hmm. time left, but mm -hmm. that's, that's one example, a, a tragic example. Mm -hmm. But why not educate people, educate parents, rather than legislate a ban? Well, that's what we're trying to do right now. But unfortunately, people don't always get the message. They don't always get the message, um, you know, and, and it's very hard to educate everybody. So I want to just protect uh, all parents from losing their, their child thanks needlessly. For, thanks for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Pennsylvania State Representative Rosemary Swanger. I'm Jill Horner.